Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing better now that I know my kitty cat is fine. He is an indoor kitty and because there had been a cat fight that was going on in our yard, he literally broke through the screen to save the family. <laughs> Poor little guy. We, I mean, we got to him right away, but he still came in with the bloody eye and we had to take him to the vet and everything. So, But um, he's okay now and, and I'm okay now and my daughter, <laughs> we were worried to death about him. But um, I had recorded this video over the weekend and it refused to upload. I tried and tried probably more than a dozen times and it just would not upload. I don't know what the problem was. And so I really hope this one will work. But um, I just wanted to share a few things. I received a happy mail from my dear friend um, Cami and uh, her YouTube name is Weeb Monster. And she sent a really sweet package of uh, some goodies that she shared with me um, to start with this adorable card. I love it. I love her style of cards and she makes things and she did the inside like that. So colorful and cheery. I really like it a lot. Thank you, Cammie, so much for what you shared with me. I really love everything. And I put things away, unfortunately, and I should have had this. I was going to pull this out before I even started recording on my video. Um, she had shared a, here it is, a stamp set with me that she had found at a yard sale. This one's called Butterfly Wings. And um, she said she got it for a dollar and thought it was my style. And it's absolute, absolutely my style. I absolutely love it. And, um, of course, it's a close to my heart stamp set. And I just think it's beautiful. I can't wait to play with it. And um, then she also included a little stamp set of cupcakes, which I'm really excited about. Um, Cammie, I don't know if you remember or not, I have this little girl stamp um, from, she's a CC Sweet Pixies design um, cupcake Birgitta, and um, I thought that this might be a fun to do, like a tone-on-tone tone on tone stamping background effect or something, I don't know. There's all kinds of different things you can do with that, so I'm going to have a blast with that, needless to say, <laughs> and this as well. And then, um, I've never tried, she sent me a couple of sassafras packages of embellishments. This, these are the brooches, and then the entwined blooms, they're adhesive on the back, so I'm looking forward to playing with these as well, something that I haven't been able to try. And then um, she also included a couple of sheets of stickers, Debbie Mum, and then I'm pretty sure this is Mary Engelbright. I love both of them, really, really sweet things, and I like I like things that are cute and sweet. <laughs> I had um, quite a Goodwill haul that I was going to share with you as well. Thank you, um, especially um, Cami, I really appreciate your happy mail. And it was fun because when I came home, it was a long, hard day, and I came home and I saw that little package sticking out of, that, out of the mailbox, and so that was fun. But um, my Goodwill haul, I put everything away already, and it was just too hard for me to try to relocate everything that I was going to share with you. I did have this sitting on my desk still. This is a the refills for those um, smash label makers and my Dymo label maker was completely empty so when I found this for 99 cents I was really happy and they had three packages and so I bought all of them and they fit and they work great <laughs> so and then I bought this humongous thing of twine for a couple dollars and oh there were some little suction cup things these things here they had a couple of these new in the package um, I'm going to hang on the side of my cabinet here. I actually have one up there already that I have my Gorgeous Girl stamp sets hanging off of that. And then this second one, I'll probably hang my, my Prima dolls, my Prima Girl stamps on those. So, um, my mom gave me some um, clothespins, some extra ones that she said she didn't need. So I just randomly picked these up and just started doodling, playing while we were talking. And I used, um, if you recall, those little stamp sets that I showed when I got my consultant package for Close to My Heart. We get these little perk stamp sets. And so I used those little perks and stamped on here and used a brown stamp ink. And um, 
Oh, I use vintage photo around the sides to kind of distress and age it and everything. So that was fun. This paper is scraps that I had left over from the card that um, I'm going to include a card video. Well, it's not really a video because I since I recorded my video that would not upload, I had to go ahead and give my cards away that to the um, people that I made them for so I didn't have them here to share with the remake of my video and so um, I'm just I just had the uh, picture photos left in my camera to share so but this was some of that paper that I used um, on those cards you'll probably recognize it I it's um, those cards the two the two cards on one of the video segments that is going to be attached here is an origami dress card. I was inspired. I was really in the mood to make one. I thought it was so cute. And this was my practice sheet, so that's why I have this. <laughs> um, this one I actually made with a an 8 by 8 inch square of paper for my practice dress. And But the dresses I actually made for the two cards that you will see later, um, I used six inch square pieces of paper for making those folds and I'm going to attach the video on how to how I learned how to make these dresses but I used to do a lot of origami with my mom when I was a kid so it was fun to be able to play with that some more and practice and um, I started I was going to make this is an unfinished project but um, this was just playing around a little bit with these frame stencil minis from Heidi Swap and I just used some of my uh, Heidi Swap, Swap Color Shine Mist on that. I used a perp, this amethyst purple, the primrose, and then the gold I used on there and sprinkled it. And um, one of the things that I boo booed on, I thought I would just show you because, you know, nothing's ever perfect for me. <laughs> but this, um, I used my washi tape to hold my stencil down securely while I was putting my spray mist down and while I was trying to well first I started heat setting it and then I could tell as I was heat setting it that the heat was going to start um, warping this plastic so I stopped immediately and said no can't do that I'll have to take the stencil off before I heat set it and in the course of that my ink ran a little bit because it was still pretty wet in, in that spot so it ran over that L so but I don't know I had I may go ahead and use it. I hate wasting anything. If nothing else, maybe I'll use it in my project life, my pocket scrapbooking or something. And same with this. I was, this is the Boho Greeting Farm Girl, and I was playing around with my distress inks and everything else. I was happy with except for her face, and she was just kind of pale down here. So I went back over and was going to add some more. Um, I was using the t antique linen. To, um, vintage, oh boy, <laughs> you tell I'm being rushed, um, I'm having a mental block again, but anyway, when I tried to reapply that color there, it just made it worse, and actually lightened it up even more, because it was causing the paper to peel up, because I wasn't using it on the proper paper to begin with, so that was my own fault, so I may just kind of add that as a fun little thing to my pocket scrapbooking album, and call it a day, <laughs> make something else. So, anyway, that's just a few of the things that um, I've been working on, and I have more to come yet, of course. I'm always, it seems like I'm always behind on something. But I wanted to get this uploaded and share Cammie's sweet gift that she sent to me, and um, say hi to everyone. Everyone take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Have fun scrapping. This was a really fun card to make. I used the corrugated card base for the card and the Keller Kurtz and Company paper collection from Paper Studio and I used my Tim Holtz sewing room die and the dress I absolutely loved it I couldn't wait to make it it is a um, origami dress and that's something that I used to be able to do uh, my mom and I used to do together when I was little is make different things out of origami it was a lot of fun so I enjoyed being able to um, play with it again. Um, on that card base is a ATC piece that I 
cut out, fussy cut it out, and um, it was a pretty simple card. I used the Tim Holtz Distress Inks and the Vintage Photo, inked all the edges, and my seam binding that I found at the yard sale, and um, I think that's pretty much it. I will include the link to the website, or the YouTube video that I saw how to make the origami dress. I hope you enjoyed it, and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.